Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an ice skin effect in Photoshop. So to start with, you can see on screen an example of the effect that we're going to be creating. And from the layers panel, I can switch off the different layers and you can see the original image. Now this image can be downloaded from Envato Elements and I'll link it in the description. And I've also got an ice image that I believe was from ice stock, but you can go on Google, type in ice texture and you'll get tons and tons of different images that you can use if you'd like to practice this tutorial. Okay, so that's again the example of what we're going to be creating with all of those switched on. And the reason that this image is great is because there's a lot of skin on show on our subject so we get to really see the benefit of this ice texture. Okay, let's delete everything and go back to our original image. Now the first thing we're going to do is go to our ice texture and go to select all and you'll see the marching ants appear around the canvas and just go to edit copy it will copy everything to the clipboard and if we switch back to our main tutorial document go to edit and paste and of course this is quite big a very high res image so we'll just zoom out and go to edit free transform and just hold shift so we scale down proportionally and then double click or press enter to set that transformation and just make sure that the ice texture you're using covers your entire subject. Brilliant. Okay, so we can double click on layer one and call this ice. And we're going to start by blending this into the subject's skin. Now there's lots of different blending modes you can use here. Definitely have a lot of fun uh, playing around with these because you can get some really, really cool effects. We're gonna start with screen. So you can see this applies a kind of effect like the subject is behind a sheet of ice, but we want the ice to be more on her skin. So what we're going to do is right click on the ice layer and select blend options. And just drag this over here. And from the blending options tab, you've got this section down here at the bottom. Now you can drag these sliders and pull them left and right and it does this. That's not quite what we want, and each of these sliders is made up of a left and a right side, and we can separate them. So if we hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and left click on the left half of this slider, you can see that we can pull this apart. Now depending on how strong you would like your ice texture to be, you can adjust this, and your image that you're using uh, will affect this as well. So just drag that and let go. And we can do the same for the underlying layer as well. So we can hold down the Alt key, click on that right side, and drag this over here. Something like this. And if I turn the preview box on and off, you can see we've made considerable progress now. So we've gone from that sheet of ice to cleverly applying that to uh, her skin and things like the shadows and the highlights show underneath the ice as well. Now it's applied to the background as well, which you may want, but for this tutorial, we're going to remove that. So if we select the background image and just use something like the quick selection tool, you can just drag over areas and hold alt to deselect areas and just quickly select the background. And if you'd like to check out some of my other tutorials on how to effectively cut out subjects from backgrounds, there's plenty in the Photoshop playlist linked in the description. Cool, so a really quick selection. Let's switch back on our ice layer. And with this selected and the marching ants showing our selection, we can select the add layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. And while it's masked the opposite, but that's totally fine, we can just go to image, adjustments and invert and it will swap that mask around so now we have the ice effect only applied to our subject so if i just switch this on and off you can see the difference pretty good start what we're going to do now is go to the adjustments icon at the bottom and add a photo filter now we it, by default it adds a warming filter we don't really want that we can change this to cooling filter so it makes the image a lot more colder, which kind of matches the whole ice thing that we're going for. But we can select and add a custom color from the color picker. So I'm just gonna go for something like a turquoise, really, really bright. And you can adjust the density as well. 
So here's our original image, and we're just going to make this a little bit cooler, so about 20%. And you can click the little eye icon at the bottom of the panel and just preview how it looks with that effect and without. Cool, so that's pretty good, I think. So what we can do now is we can again add another adjustment layer, and we're going to add a solid color. And I'm going to pick a similar kind of turquoisey color and set the blending mode on this one to soft light. So you can see that photo filter was a very subtle start. Now I've added this kind of turquoise wash with a soft light effect. I think I might just bring that down to about, let's go for 70%, just so it's not so strong. And you can double click the thumbnail, of course, if you do want to update the color at any point. So we have our ice layer, we have our color fill overlay, and we have our photo filter. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate the ice layer by right clicking on it and selecting duplicate layer. And I'm going to call this ice2 and change the blending mode from screen to overlay. And of course you can have a ton of fun experimenting with all of the different types of blending modes here and your image may benefit more or less from different options. Okay, so we've added a second ice layer. And what I'm gonna do with this one is select the mask and the brush tool. Just use one of Photoshop's default feathered brushes and make sure I've got black selected as the foreground color and I'm just going to brush into this. Now, whilst it's absolutely fine to just kind of add the ice effect over everything and blend it over everything, for me personally, I think the the best effects are ones when you go in and you just kind of adjust various areas of the face. So I'm just doing this at the moment on ice layer two, just kind of reducing some of that ice. And I can jump onto ice layer one as well. Let's just add a number one on there. And you can see I'm just removing ice from various parts of the image. And I'm just doing this very softly. And I'm using a Wacom Intros Pro for anyone that is interested and it makes retouching like this incredibly easy. So I'm just, just reducing that in places just so it's not so over the top. Ice, ice, ice. So if you hold down shift and left click on either of the adjust of the uh, layer masks, you can see what we've done. So that is kind of like full on maximum ice. And um, we've removed this from the background and from parts of the subject as well, just so it looks a little bit more subtle. And we can of course hold shift and left click on the top layer and then go to layer and group layers and call this ice effect so this will all sit within a folder and we can just toggle this off and back on and just in a few simple steps adding a couple of ice layers a color fill adjustment layer and a photo adjustment layer we've created a pretty cool ice effect and there we go that's how to create an ice skin effect in Photoshop as always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Oh.